Hi, welcome to Tauro Movies. If you are a friend of traditional fire making, like using the flint and steel, I like to show you a very useful booster for your tinder material in this video. So if you are interested and if you like, please join me. And the tinder for your flint and steel I'm talking about is just some ashes, which I collected at my last campfire in this little tin or can here. Actually, I've been using ashes before, just with another process. For example, to make the drama layer of the tinder mushroom able to catch a spark from flint and steel and create and keep an ember, I was boiling the drama layer in a mix of ashes and water for about an hour. I also used to make some mud out of water and ashes. Then I took some thistle seeds and created such pets out of it. I let them dry and they work very, very well with flint and steel. I put the link to this video beneath in the description box. And as you can imagine, to prepare your tinder material like this, it takes time and it's also a little effort. So I was thinking about a much easier way. So what I did, I took the thistle seeds and dig them into the ashes without any preparation. I just rubbed them a little bit into it. And I gave it a try. And as you can see, it takes only a few strikes. And the sister sees glow extremely well with nearly no effort. To be honest, I was a little surprised how easy it was to prepare the thistle seas and turn it into a perfect thinner material for flint and steel. So I thought, why not trying it with the drama layer of the tinder mushroom. So I have here the trauma layer and I roll them a little. I'll make them between my hands. Just a little fluffy. I also have made a video about it how to use the drama layer without any preparation and I also put the link to this video beneath in the description box. So make sure that you have dry hands and then it looks like this. Then we do the same like we have done with the thistle seas before. It just Take the trauma layer from the mushroom into the ashes and try to wrap the ashes into the fibers. Of the mushroom. And give this one a try as well. And here we are. So simple, look at this. Very, very easy, just with some ashes. No long and complicated process like nitration or boiling in ash water.
and it glows and glows. So it would be really, really easy to light the fire in a tinder bundle. And after the second surprise, I was going one step further on and was thinking about char clove. Why not trying just with a piece of cotton and ashes to catch the spark and get an ember? Also here, same procedure. Taking this piece of cotton, digging it into ashes and wrap the ashes into the fibers of the cotton material. Also here, same procedure. So it took some more strikes, but it's actually working as well. So in an emergency, it would even work with your t-shirt, as far as it's 100% cotton. So let's place it in the tinder bundle. And here we are. After all, we created a new saying, not ashes to ashes, now new ashes to the fire kit. In my opinion, we should never stop being curious, especially out here in nature, learning new things every time, trying new things, being creative. That's the way to go, at least for myself. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I would be very happy if you joined our movies the next time again. Tschüss, ciao und bye bye.